hydration. My routine when I have makeup on is about 10 steps. I know it sounds like a lot, trust me. Like even me saying it is like, whoa, 10 steps. But it's pretty easy and quick. I would say my skin is combination. I usually get oily on my nose a lot. I get really dry sometimes on my forehead. And sometimes like I get dry here, I get dry in, like on the sides of my nose and oily around here. So yeah, combination. And here and there, I'll get the annoying pimple like here and, or here. And I just paint it. I paint over my pimples to make them look beautiful. So first off, we have the Elemis Cleansing Balm. This is super easy to use. All you do is smooth it all over your face and then clean it off with a warm towel. You just let it sink into the skin, massage it all over that makeup. This removes everything. I really try to always take good care of my skin because I went through that phase in middle school where I had bad acne. Since I do get the annoying pimple here and there, and I have combination skin, this doesn't really make me break out. It's an oil to cleanse your makeup off, but it doesn't break you out. At least it doesn't break me out. I found this product through Revolve Beauty. And since then I've been obsessed. I got it, I've been using it for about two years, I would say. Okay, so now I'm just gonna remove everything. And that's my cute little pimple that I painted before. Ah, all that makeup off. So see, this is why I love this product. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's not like wipes. I need to wipe and then use something else again. It all comes out. Even the eyeliner, that's something that is tough for me to remove with other products is the eyeliner and the mascara. I don't know about you ladies, but that eyeliner and mascara just sticks everywhere. And this has been my secret. My second step will be washing my face with this powder soap from Dr. Barbara Sturm. I love this. And I have been using it for what, like, two years or something. I really love it because again, it's not sensitive on my skin and it exfoliates at the same time because it's a powder soap. So it's like this. My face is all clean now, fresh. Next step is a Total Capture from Dior. And I just use it with my little cotton ball. And I love this. I have been using this for a couple months now and I feel like it really works because it doesn't irritate my skin after all those steps with makeup. It still hydrates it. It's like really soft and nice and it gets rid of any little bit of dirt that I might have forgotten. And there it is. Next, I'm gonna use this super potent serum from Dior. And I use this to prevent from wrinkles or anything because, you know, I prefer to prevent and not regret. So I just add this all over my skin and neck. Can't forget the neck. Next, I have the Cell Energy Eye Cream from Dior. And this, you know, I can get puffy eyes one day. I can get dark eye one day. I can get both. So sometimes I wake up really puffy, so this really has helped me through all that. And it's really soft on my skin. <sighs> Next we have the Dior Prestige. And this is so pretty. It smells so good. And when I wake up in the morning after this, it's just like, it makes my skin firm. It makes my skin glowy. It, just everything, it's like all in one. I've never put something on that I wake up that surprised about in the morning. My skin is just so soft. And I put it all over my neck and I also put it on my chest a little bit. 
This is probably a product that I couldn't live without when I went to an island and I'm stranded in an island and I have to bring one product. It would be this and it would be sunscreen because I can't live without sunscreen, you know? That's my rule number one. Every morning I have to have sunscreen. Doesn't matter. Honestly, like even when I'm stuck at home, I'm still wearing sunscreen. Next, I'm gonna be using this. And I got this at Revolve Beauty and I have been using it for like two years. I use it in the daytime and at nighttime and I just massage it. At nighttime, I mainly use it because it helps my skin absorb all the products better. And then at daytime, I like to use it because it helps me with puffiness and it helps me get like a natural contour when I wake up puffy in the mornings. So basically I just massage my face for like one minute. And I actually saw this on Instagram a while back and I was very interested. I was like, should I really try that? Like, is it really worth it? But I think that it definitely is worth it. I definitely see the difference. I'm gonna use this lip glow now from Dior. Isn't that so pretty? <sighs> Gotta keep the lips hydrated and take care of your lips as well. My ninth step is this Hydro Mist from Dr. Barbara Sturm. <sighs> Hydration for the skin, pure water for the skin. Before bed, I always try to add something that hydrates my hair. And I feel like these drops have really helped with hydration and they are not as oily as oils. I always try to do some natural oils on the weekends when I have nothing else to do, you know, and I don't have to wash my hair, but when I need it to be clean, these drops are amazing. So I just add a little bit all over my hair and then I massage my scalp. And this is a step other than skincare, but massaging your scalp is so beneficial in so many ways. It helps with blood circulation, it helps with stress, it helps with hair growth, so much. And that's it, we got through 10 steps. That's my whole skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.